Okay, real talk for a quick tick. This is my fifth, count them. Ooh, my fingers are blue. Five times I have filmed this exact same video, okay? And each time I film this particular video, I at least spend 10 to 15 minutes just on the intro alone. Like, I don't know what to say to you guys anymore. Like, I don't know how to say hi. Hello, how are you? I'm okay. It's been a minute. Like, that's, is that, is that okay? Does that work? What's up there, my Foxy fan? No, we're not doing this. So welcome to my channel. My name is Imogen Hearts, and it has been a hot second since I have uploaded. I believe it was November of last year, the last time I uploaded a video, but the last time I was consistent in my uploads has been almost three years. I know, that's, it's terrible. I know, I get it. You don't have to tell me, I'm well aware. But I have had some issues with joining the YouTube world again and finding that confidence or courage within myself to join the YouTube world because it's a vicious place sometimes and I really needed to step away from it. I think three years was a little too long, but I am ready to come back to YouTube and I'm finally gaining that confidence level back up and I really think that it's time that I just do what I really, really love and that is to show other people my art, teach other people my art, and just have a conversation about it. But today, in particular, we're here for a very specific reason and that is that I need to explain kind of what happened to me. So most of you follow me on Instagram and some of you may have noticed, some of you already know, and some of you may not have noticed at all, but I disappeared off Instagram. My Instagram account was gone. And what I wanna do today is talk to you guys about that and explain what happened while I do my makeup, but I am not going to be talking about the makeup or teaching about what I'm doing or showing products, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna be doing my makeup as I tell you guys. I hope that's okay. It's not really something I've done in the past. Usually I just come on here and address things, but I feel like it's much more entertaining if I'm doing something while I'm talking instead of just, well, doing what I'm doing right now, which is just, you're probably bored. I'll get to the makeup. Okay, just letting you know, all of the products that I am going to be using in this video, I am going to leave in the description down below. So if you do wanna know, the more you know, it's there for you. Okay, so on June 24th, 2020, 9.40 a.m. It's very specific, okay? This was a very traumatic event that happened to me. <laughs> And, um, you know, the details are important to me. So on June 24th, my Instagram account got hacked. So I woke up around seven o'clock, did my normal thing. Um, and then at about 8.30, I checked my Instagram account and everything is peachy. And then at 9.43 a.m., I checked my Instagram account again. However, I was brought to the page that, you know, you have to plug in your password or whatever. And I was like, whoa, this is weird because I literally never log out of my Instagram account. So odd. I went to plug in my password and it stated that the Instagram account that I was trying to access or, you know, go to didn't exist. And, um, Panic. So I immediately go to my email to see if something has happened. I get into my email and I see an email from Facebook, which is Instagram. And so this email was stating that at 9.40 a.m., I had tried to change my email associated with my account. And I thought, no, I didn't. And so that's weird, right? Uh, so I click the link that is attached to the email you know, to tell Instagram or whatever that like you didn't make, I didn't make this change, I didn't want this change happening. And I was brought to a page that was letting me know that the email address like that I was trying to access this page from didn't exist. Like it wasn't in an Instagram database or whatever. So I head back over to my email again and I see a second email from Facebook, Instagram. And this email was stating that I had tried to change my password associated with my account. So again, I click through the link 
to try and reverse this change and let them know that I did not do this and I was once again brought to a page that let me know that my Instagram account that I was trying to access didn't exist. So cool. By the way, this looks so delightful right now. Does it not? I look so, I look so good. Okay, so now I'm freaking out and I immediately start Googling how to get in contact with Instagram. I was trying to look for an email, a phone number, anything. And I came across a phone number that was for Instagram and Facebook. And so I called it uh, immediately. So I call this number and am, you know, immediately let down because of course you cannot speak to a human being through this phone service that they provide. Nah. <laughs> No, that would be too easy, you know, to be able to talk to a human being and then be like, hey, I didn't do this. And they're like, oh, really? Here, just let me undo that for you. That would be way too easy, right? Life isn't that easy. So I am, of course, directed to an email that I can email them at and they can help me further there. So I immediately email this email address only to, to find that I was immediately sent a demon mailer, which if you don't know what a demon mailer is, like a demon email, I think that's what it's called. If I'm reading it wrong, I've been reading it wrong all these years. <laughs> but I get a demon email, which means that the recipient that I am sending to doesn't exist. Like that's not a real email address, whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool, great. The email address that they provided that I use um, doesn't even work. So I, I'm just in pure panic. Okay. I'm pure panic mode. I don't know what to do now. I don't know how to get a hold of Instagram. I keep searching and can't find anything as far as I could personally find for myself. I just could not find anything that would let me know how I actually let Instagram know that this has happened. So while I am there in my email, however, I do see an email that states Instagram account hacked. When I say my stomach like fell through my butthole, <laughs> it fell through, okay? Like, I'm sorry, that's what happened. That's what it felt like. It was a terrifying feeling reading those words. Anyway, so I opened, that was so TMI. I mean, it wasn't, but my description of how I felt was. <laughs> okay, so this email, right? This email, in the politest way ever. Seriously, like the, the, the most polite way ever. They were like, uh, yeah, so we hacked your Instagram account. You know, how you doing? You having a great day? Cool. Um, why don't you email us back in like two hours? You know, cause if you don't, we're just gonna delete your Instagram account and sell it. So, right? Have a nice day. Like it was so, weirdly polite. I think it pissed me off more than anything how polite they were. I'll throw up like the actual email so you can see them. Not my responses though, cause let's be real, okay? I'm gonna be totally honest. I'm not proud of some of the emails that I sent because I ranged through emotions of like begging and pleading with these people to rage and anger to downright like, I mean, there were so many different things that I was thinking. And so I was desperate, man. I was just like, begging and pleading for these people to give me my account back and not take it from me. So I'm not gonna include my responses cause like <laughs> nobody needs to see that. Okay, it's not important what I said. But of course I immediately emailed them back and I'm like, uh, you know, please don't do anything with my account. You know, what do I need to do? Please don't, you know, the desperate stuff, you know, you know. So they email me back and they're like, all right, well, it's gonna be $300 to give you your account back. Negative ghostwriter, which I immediately reply back, like half laughing. Like, um, I don't think you did your research when you went to hack my account. Cause like, I don't, um, I'm, no, I don't have that kind of money to just throw around. So I let them know that they have made a grave mistake. Not to mention the fact that I'm a smart little cookie, okay? I've watched 2020, sir. You can't fool me. I know that you're never gonna give me my account back. No, 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 no. You're not pulling a fast one on me, you know? 
No. So then they emailed me back with, you know, um, how about 150? Nope. Still no. Still gonna be a hard no. So after getting this response from them, I do what any sane person would do. I call my mom. Mama! <laughs> um, so I call my mom and I am, you know, like hyperventilating, losing my crap. Just, just literally losing it. And my mom immediately is like, you need to call the police. This is a crime. Like this was an actual crime committed against you. And I do want to say something. I think it's really funny that I feel like since I have been a part of this situation, I really noticed like people don't think this is a crime. Like this, it's like so nonchalant, non nonchalant for some people that like, oh yeah, like you got your Instagram right, too bad. Oh well, like no, it was a crime. It is illegal. My identity was stolen from me online. Like it was taken, it's gone. Like that, Part of my life is now gone because someone chose to steal it from me. Those are my photographs. Those are my memories. Those are the, like, it's not nothing. So my mama, right? She's like, call the police, like file a police report. Maybe just maybe, you know, uh, okay, well, you know, you're right. It's a crime. And I'm, I'm, if, what if they could catch this person and then they couldn't do it to anyone else? Cause I'm not going to lie. This is a really crappy feeling. So, it's what I did. So, the officer shows up and like, I, he was a super nice guy, but he also could barely work a smartphone. <laughs> and he basically told me what I already do and that was that like, you know, I'll never catch this guy. I'll never catch who did this to you because number one, these people use IP addresses that like ping off it. Like, okay, for example, when the Instagram emailed me about the address change, it like lets you know where you logged in from. And it said that the person doing it was using Firefox and it was two towns over from where I currently live. And in all reality, they probably in a whole nother country, like not even close. And so realistically, like it's, they're never going to catch them. So I mean, I've, it made me feel a little bit empowered to have filed a police report. Like at least I did my due diligence, you know, kind of thing, but also here we are. So I went to Twitter, you know, as one does. I actually never used my Twitter, but I knew that some of the people that were following me on Instagram are also following me on Twitter. And so I thought I would kind of let people know what was happening with my account, you know, that I'm just gone essentially and I was doing that through Twitter and that's when I was kind of connected with this girl who had had the exact same thing happen to her. And she sent me some links to YouTube videos on how to get my Instagram account back because of course Instagram can't make it easy and either have a place you actually call and talk to a person or a direct contact email for them. No, no, no. If you're not actually in your Instagram and message Instagram from Instagram. There's it's like super hard to get a hold of them. Anyways, she gives me this video that I can watch and it'll tell me how to get my Instagram account back. And I'm like, oh, thank God. So I watched this video and they let you know that you need to go to forgot your password. And then from forgot your password, you actually have to click the button that says like need more help. And then it'll bring you to a separate page that will pull up so you can e actually email and contact Instagram. And I did this and I actually did this several times a day for two weeks. I wrote them detailed lists of times I posted, when I created account, my account, what was like first uploaded to my Instagram account. I emailed them pictures of my ID. I emailed pictures of a code, a special code that they had actually sent me at one point, um, like me holding up a piece of paper, holding it. I did everything that they asked, everything that they asked of me, I did. Several times a day, I did this. So it was just a waiting game. I kept waiting to hear responses from Facebook. At one point I did get a response, but it was to my, the, like the wrong email. It was to, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. But I did get an email from them at one point and they said like basically like, an Instagram account that is permanently deleted. There's nothing that they can do 
but if the account was just deactivated, there was something they could do, but they couldn't because mine was permanently deactivated, which I, okay. And so I, I literally just waited for two weeks. I did make an Instagram account in the meantime, that was just, it wasn't my, it wasn't Imogen Hearts at the time. I started it out as Miss Moon Maven because at that time I wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to get Imogen Hearts back, but I did make the Instagram account and then two weeks went by and um, that's when they released Imogen Hearts on Instagram again and I immediately snagged it. Again, I wasn't sure if I was going to keep that name or if I was going to be something else, but it felt really weird to think of someone else grabbing that name and then like me seeing someone else as Imogen Hearts and it just like, ugh. Okay, so it's at this two week mark and my name is released, all of that jazz. And that's when I really um, felt like I had to come to terms with the fact that that Instagram account was gone. My years and years of hard work gone. My, I, I just, I knew like at that point, like there was no getting it back. And so it was a really, really hard pill to swallow. I did not have like 90% of the images that I had on my Instagram saved because it's been eight plus years. No, seven plus years. It's been like eight years <laughs> since I created that uh, Instagram account. And I only have like the past two years worth of photos saved. And so all of those memories, all of that work, all, I mean, it's just all gone. And I had lost uh, brand deals, sponsorships that I had. I actually, the night before my Instagram account got hacked, I had signed on for a campaign with Ulta Beauty. I had, I mean, I just lost so much um, by losing this Instagram account and, um, yeah, it just so, so sucked, man. I can't even put into full words the amount of devastation that I was feeling. The best way for me to equate the feeling that I felt was that I had a studio, my, like, my work place shed, she shed, where I kept all of my work um, went up in flames. It, it burned down with all of my stuff inside of it, like, <laughs> It sounds drastic, but really that is, that's what happened to me. That's what it felt like. All of my work was just gone in the matter of seconds and I had nothing, there, there was just nothing I could have done to stop it. I mean, it just, it was out of my hands, girl. I lost a lot of my PR lists with that too. Um, a lot of brands just see you as a number. They don't really care about your artwork and so they don't want to send you stuff if you're not benefiting them in some form or fashion, um, which I understand to a certain extent. You know, business-wise, I, I kind of get it. I want to be selfish and say that I don't and just be angry, but I, I do understand to a certain degree. So I lost money, I lost uh, PR, I lost, I, I feel, it felt like I lost everything. And um, it just, it just really, really sucks. I went into a really major depression. I was feeling really depressed and I, I really didn't know how to get out of that feeling. I had lost my identity and that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys a little bit about because there has been some things that really, really bothered me with the way some people reacted to my reaction to losing this account my reaction to the situation that happened to me. So I want to talk for a second um, about something really personal to me um, and then I'll get into why the uh, reactions that other people had to my reaction, um, why they so bothered me so much. And so I suffer 
with, I don't want to say an identity disorder because I've never been diagnosed or anything um, per se, but I really struggle with my identity and who I am. And one of my biggest outlets and ways for me to cope with this was creating this person, Imogen Hearts, and um, just living vicariously, even though it is me through her, if that makes sense. It probably doesn't. And I don't expect anybody else to really understand, but maybe have a little bit of empathy to, to just be kind to me for this. But I, it's not that I feel like I need makeup to feel beautiful. It's not that I don't feel beautiful without it or I, I'm promoting that in any way, shape, or form. It is nothing to do really with the outside. It's how it made me feel inside. I felt empowered. I felt strong. I felt confident. I did feel beautiful even when I was just in that mode of like I am Imogen and I'm getting ready to create something. Um, it's more the art of it that really clung to me but it's how I coped with the severe depression and anxiety that I experienced in my real life and she was just an escape for me and I loved her and she was a person for me and it sounds so weird probably for you guys for me to talk about her as if she's a separate entity than me but to me she was. To some people it might seem like oh I just lost my Instagram account but it's not the case for me. For me it, it runs a lot deeper than that and it wasn't just a like oops oh well. So I posted about this on my Twitter that I lost my identity. I don't know who I am anymore. I just feel so incredibly like lost and helpless. I literally just posted about basically I, I don't know who to be right now and I had someone comment that basically like um you know chill out Moroski. that's absolutely ridiculous that you would like equate yourself to a number and you know yada 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 and just kind of coming down on me for the fact that i put so much weight and importance on this instagram and again i want to state that this happened to me and even if you went through a similar experience just know that your circumstance in life your past your upbringing um, different things that have happened to you, the way that you are wired emotionally, a lot of different factors go into this, but you may process and feel differently than another human being might about the same situation happening to them. Your circumstance might be different, and so therefore you are going to handle it and deal with it and experience it a different way than another human being. I don't know why this is a really hard concept for people, but apparently, apparently it is. It's just that's a foreign concept. So anyways, I don't think anyone should ever tell someone else how they should feel about something that happened to them personally. Like, I'm allowed to feel how I feel about it, and that is how I felt. I, whoa, I was so lost, and heartbroken and I, I really didn't know what to do. I cried most of the time. Most days I would just cry. Like I, I didn't know how to handle it at the time that it was happening to me. I really truly didn't and it hurt so bad. Like I literally felt like a I don't know what that was. It literally felt like a hole had just been ripped in my chest and it was just bare and exposed and open and there was nothing I could do. By the way, if right now you were like, what on earth is she doing with her makeup? Hold your horses. We'll get there, I promise. It's just gonna look crazy up until the point that it doesn't. <laughs> so at some point I did make the decision to just start posting on Instagram again. And my thought was at least this way, like, I am at least posting and getting stuff out there and I am starting the process of, 
you know, getting things back to, to kind of normal, even though I don't even know yet what normal is going to look like for me. But I, I just kind of decided that like, no, Imogen is going to live on. I'm not going to let the people who hacked my Instagram account take that power from me. You know, I, I'm, I'm not gonna allow her to die. It sounds so dramatic. I understand that, but to me, it, it was really, really traumatic, okay? It was a traumatic experience that I went through. I'm jokey jokey about it now, but but like for real. So yeah, that's that's what happened to me in a nutshell. I mean, that's the, the gist of the situation I had found myself in and why I may or may not have disappeared for you on Instagram. Uh, I had a lot of people that thought that I had blocked them or I just deleted my account altogether or, you know, which is simply just not at all what happened. Uh, it just, that, I mean, my account got hacked. I had my whole little Instagram world shook and, uh, yeah, I am still honestly recovering. I'm healing. I'm healing. I kept thinking to myself like, this has gotta be a wake up call of some kind or something. You know, something good needs to come from this. And I think that it was that little push I needed to get back into YouTube because I don't know, my whole body and being while all of this was happening was like, I need to hop on YouTube and I need to make a video. And I'm like, yeah, but nobody even watches my YouTube anymore because I don't make videos anymore. Like who's gonna even see it? Oh my gosh, can we? I don't know if the camera is picking this up, but this glitter liner from Violet Voss. Sorry, I know I said I wasn't going to talk about the makeup at all, but like when the glitter is that good, you got to mention it. Okay, actually, now that I'm like, okay, we're here. What? Okay, focus. <laughs> so the next part I'm going to do actually off camera because this video, I'm sure at this point, is already 5 million years long. And I'm just going to be gluing rhinestones and stuff and putting on mascara and lashes. So nothing to see here, nothing new or extraordinary going to be happening, just gluing some rhinestones. Okay, so clearly a lot has changed since you last saw me. We're just moving along and progressing right along in this makeup look. So uh, also, I don't, okay, just kidding. I'm gonna line my lips before I start talking again. Why did I think I could do that? Oh, when your contact goes wonky. Sorry if that freaks anybody out. Oh no. Don't fail on me now. <gasps> oh. Okay, so here is the completed look, but I'm actually going to come back to you guys in just a minute when my lips have deflated a little bit and it's easier <laughs> for me to speak. <laughs> okay, so sorry about that, but it's really hard for me to talk when my lips are like very first plumped. It just feels really weird and then I feel like I talk with a lisp or something. I don't know, I just needed to let them calm down and also take my pictures and stuff of this makeup. It looks so weird with my hands being normal and then this is... So yeah, I don't even remember at this point where I was at and what, I, I mean, I think we're done. Are we done talking? <laughs> I mean, yes, yes, I'm done talking about this. My account was hacked. That's where I went. If any of you had followed me before and you haven't refollowed me, if you could do that for me, that would like mean the world. And I'm also getting a lot of people thinking that I blocked them or something. I didn't block you. If you look me up now, I should be there. Image and hearts as always. It's always going to be the same. But any support that I can get there is so gratefully appreciated. And also, if you are not subscribed to this channel yet and you've just sat through this whole story and you watched me do this I think you owe it to yourself to hit the subscribe button you know I mean just treat yourself just right there hit it 
it's it's all it's all you gotta do i promise you guys that i am going to be doing youtube videos again i am going to look to upload once a week there are actually some things i really 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 want to do with youtube um there are things that i've wanted to do for years but was either talked out of them or was too afraid to do or I was talked out of them and then by the time I got the courage to do them, somebody else had already done it um, or something similar and so I just didn't ever do what was going to bring me joy. I just kept making videos. Um, not that I didn't enjoy them, but there were things that I really, really wanted to try. And so I think I'm finally going to give those things a try. So we might be looking at more than one upload a week. I don't wanna like get ahead of myself, but I really missed YouTube. I missed creating content for YouTube. This was so fun to paint myself and share this with you guys. I hope that this turned out cool. I mean, I don't know. This is kind of cool. It was also inspired by Alyssa. So this look was inspired by Alyssa Marie Artistry. Um, she did a look where she did this, the cry baby eye shape. I just really liked this and I wanted to give it a go, but definitely put my own spin on it. And so, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I missed you guys so much and yeah it's so nice to have you back okay anyways I love and appreciate you guys so much and with that I guess there's really not much else to say so you know mm, well okay bye